Yo 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 hello guys welcome back to my YouTube channel ambayo ni Young Blood Kamodo your favorite boy here YBK and guys let me say thank you so much for 17k subscribers i'm really humbled thank you so much for the love thank you so much for the support i'm just grateful to you all may god bless you so much all of uh, all of you those who support me and all of those who support us and uh, pray for us may god bless you so much i'm lacking words to express the love or show you the love but may god bless you so much so guys uh, as you can see here i promised you to bring you the best interviews to bring you the vlogs you love seeing music as well i know i've been so silent but don't worry i have uh, like some projects on the way and also many many content so today here i have a person you know a person you have been seen pale kwa virginia angare tv also uh, pale kwa mc santisia lucinera music of hope kwa young blood kamodo also kwa moyo kamodo so i know you like like know him uh, i know most of you have seen him because he is the official camera guy wa mom and all the edits kwa channel ya virginia wangare tv he's the one he will be telling us and uh, so today he, t he shared to me a story and he told me he would like to share the story with me and as well as all of you there so i told him why not so we decided let us do this interview because it will encourage you it will encourage you and it will encourage many people out there so i would love him to introduce himself yes hello guys somebody say no hope you are doing good uh ni vizuri kujieleza majina yangu vizuri muweze mkanijua uh my full name is nyuziko pale kwa id zenye unaweza nipata kwa national id um kenneth muticia those are my full names pale kwa national id mm. kenneth muticia yeah as well as uh, kenneth uh, what's your relationship with us you know Okay. somebody can be wondering is he a friend is he a brother is he a fan you know so i guess it's well you just uh, explain to them what's our relationship okay yeah so i'm very humble for this opportunity first i'm very grateful uh for for those who don't know me i'm the i'm the young brother to satisha kitukipia the fiance to lucinya wira wow so these are my brother in love nowadays we don't call them brother in, in love we call yeah. them brother in law so we have been we have been living together we have a good relationship and most of you know know me very well kuna wengi wameniona pale virginia wangari tv during morning glory mm. and i've been with mom I'm, uh, in fact i'm the one who has, who has been doing the editing the, the cameraman and of the late. good work recently. yeah i'm the good i'm the man who has been doing that work yeah so uh, that's, that's my introduction the, yeah What's so kenneth uh, before even we start uh, you know we start flowing okay uh, I would like you to tell these people that you are also a YouTuber. Wow. Yeah, I would like them to so that they reach there, they subscribe, they show you love and True. support you, you know. Okay, again, again, uh, I have a I have a YouTube channel by the name Ken254. It is a YouTube channel for those people living with disability and parents raising kids with special needs whereby in that platform they share their journey how they have overcome how the journey has been you know uh, you know it's it's all about the disability and special needs yeah. it's just a platform for empowerment a platform for motivation you know those people with disability and special needs they have been they have, they have been they have been neglected by the society mm -hmm. they have been forgotten in, by the society some of them they have been discriminated so it is just a platform whereby i want to empower them and those people who who, who need more care mm -hmm. yeah wow that's oh wow but they um even me i'm challenged because you know these are the people we see like yeah. uh i'm not saying me okay. or i'm not saying you or maybe somebody there sure. but there are those people yeah. who regard a disability yeah like your motto is disability is not disability is not inability, inability. Uh, yeah true so uh you know like maybe let me use myself as an example okay. i might see a blind uh, person there and maybe you see this blind person yeah. can't do anything because he can't see yeah so so they have the they do have special uh they are, they are able differently <laughs> let's try to use the correct word 
some it's, it's not good to call them disabled we just say they are able differently able Those people, differently. yeah you, you know everyone is equal everyone god created everyone with a reason and with a purpose and before the eyes of the lord everyone is equal yeah. so no one is limited they can do anything that you can do yeah. by the in fact it's it was it was part of introduction i'm a student at mount kenya university mm-hmm. i'm 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 taking education that is special needs education and in fact in my class we are so many i have so many people who are able different mm-hmm. there are some people who are visual impaired hearing in, there are so many mm-hmm. all kind of disability are there mm-hmm. yeah so uh so as i was saying yeah so even that boy or girl that is uh, you know is blind okay. deaf so they do have that special something in them they, they are very unique seek, but they can yeah. do big things they can do something better even that, than someone who is normal like me wow. because in me in fact i have a fr- I have so many friends by the i interact so many people in the, most of my time in school mm. i interact with those people who are special most of them even their performance is higher than mine my right. friends i have a friend academically yeah, academically they are they are performing very well i have a friend in fact mm. uh, who, whose, whose performance is always higher than mine <laughs> and i'm the one who has been guiding him through wow. but when it comes to exam mm. he performs more better than me so meaning that wow. these people despite mm. being able differently mm-hmm. they have they are extraordinary they can do their things very special you see it is just because it is it is because of disability but disability cannot limit them to to achieve what they want to achieve mm-hmm. yeah wow so that was, that is this is Ken254 TV uh he is the CEO of that YouTube channel that is Ken254 yeah. so I would like you my people my nation just reach to his YouTube channel make sure you support him make sure you show love he is dealing with those people who are able Different. differently wow that's a new name at least thank you so much because uh Return. you know as far as much as uh, we regard them as disabled yeah. also i think me i'll be calling them able Different. differently yeah. so this is ken and uh welcome so much ken i'm very this is, uh, young blood kamodo yeah. these people you know they love you so much and i know they will support you yeah. so guys uh ken shared to me uh a touching story and uh it been the biggest reason why he decided to do this type of content because as he he's a youth he can do many contents yeah. he can do pranks he can do uh comedy. vlogs he can do comedy he can decide to do music he can decide to be going out you know adventures he yeah. can decide to do many many uh content yeah. but he decided to do the content of uh, those people who are able differently so ken yeah. i would like you, i would like to give you this opportunity yeah. uh you share to us uh you know first of all you you will share to us why you decided to do this type of uh content what inspired you most and uh, also your journey because i know i follow youtube because i do follow you at, i have seen you are, you have been able to do interview with several people you will share to us your journey yeah. you will share to us the challenges you know the challenges you get but all of them will be step by step so as for now i'd like you to you know tell us why this what inspired you most to do this type of content okay Welcome. thank you thank you so much again for giving this opportunity to share also to share my story uh number one i'll start by saying this path of this path of this journey of of, of disability or the journey of special needs it has not been something that easy mm-hmm. and so many people came to ask me why i thought of starting such a su- such a platform there are so many things that i could even started yeah. but let me let me just share to you the reason behind why i started this journey and the reason why i started i started this platform uh number one i'll sh- i'll just share something to you that i've never shared with anyone else uh in our family we are born for boys we are four boys uh we, we have two boys then santicia you know him then i am the last born oh you're the last i am the last born in our family <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> kifunga, kifunga. <laughs> yeah. even kifunga is still a suitable name <laughs> yeah but <Bado si> baya <laughs> <laughs> they will tell us yeah they will tell us yeah, yeah. so kitinda mimba uh-huh. so uh let me let, let me just share this story yeah 
uh, back then there is I have a, let me just talk about him by then in our family being four, four boys we have a, I have a, a brother who is somehow with living with special needs he has some issue with mental health mental sorry mental disorder mm-hmm. it is a condition that happened to him when he was just in high school by back then he was in form from i think the problem started when he was he was from three mm. he, he was very bright he was very genius in our family in fact he, in fact after case uh, after he did kcp mm. he he had dropped in our in our sub county he was number two he was number two yeah he got to county. yeah he got 429 marks by then what? he was very bright so that's genius yeah he was genius so he was able to join uh, mango high school there Wow, Mango was High ve- School. The, yeah. one, the national school, you know. Wow. So my brother, he, after joining there, he went. He started uh, the journey going went on from one, from two. But when he was in form three, he started changing his behaviors. Mm-hmm. Uh, he was very. By then, he was very. Halikuam Pole. He was very calm. Mm-hmm. He, he he never harmed anyone. He was very disciplined. But when he was in form three, mm-hmm. his behavior started changing. It's like he doesn't want to 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 to, to talk to us. He mm. doesn't complete ass- assignment at school, mm-hmm. uh, and his performance started dropping. That is form three. That is he was in form three. So you know, we, we, okay, as we could not understand this, we thought like this guy is like akona kichongumo. You get it? Was he in school or home? He was in school. Both at school and at home, everything yeah. changed. So this started when he was in school. He started when he was in school. Mm. Okay, like now, take a, like, like, like when, uh, t- let's say, like when he, is, he was given the homework. Mm. So you remember when we were given this homework, then you, when, when you're opening, you're supposed to be, have completed the work. Mm-hmm. That is when he started, he doesn't do the homework. Mm-hmm. When he comes home, he's very rude to everyone. He don't, he don't want to see anyone. It's like, in the an on and on never. You are getting me. Yeah. It's like everyone is. He, according to him, he, he, he saw everyone like I know when I'm to know one kill him to the family. So that that is how the journey went by. Ah, he continued like that, like that. You know. It, so by I'm come na jua. At we ne, we, had, we never had the idea. We never had that. We, we just that, thought it is uh, just kind of adolescence, late oh, adolescence. You know. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah, by then in our village, yeah, people yeah. did not understand about this thing we are calling special needs. Yeah, yeah. No one. And, it's back in Kitui. Yeah, in Kitui. Let's go to Kitui. Okay. So you see now. Mm. So that that how the the journey went by. Tabias mm. Mbadulika, ameanza kuwa mhash, hivyo hivyo. So that is from three. After he went to form four. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, kidogo. When he was in form three, uh, w- when he went back to school, we used to have so many cases of him. My dad used to go to to to, 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 his, school. to school because of dis- discipline issues. Mm-hmm. He has beaten a teacher. Uh, Even if there is a time he took a broom and beat a, a female teacher. So he used to have so many scandals. So we could not understand what's wrong with this guy. Mm-hmm. And he used to be so bright, so cool, yeah, yeah, so... Yeah. So this everyone used to praise him. So we we, we could not. You are not understanding. Yeah, we are not understanding what happening. what was the cause of all this. Yeah, you see. I get. So the journey went by. That is in form four. That is when the, everything in Arabica Kabisa. That is every everything go to us Kabisa. Mm. So in form four, mm. as I can remember, everything was not the same again. Was he still in school? He was in still in Mango High School. Mm-hmm. That is when everything went. Bad. Mm-hmm. He started. That is Ukubai. You know, his condition wasn't Kabisa mm-hmm. when he was waiting for his exam. KCC. KCC. So one week, one week for you, one week. For so he completed his form four. I'll take you story by. I'll take. I'll take you. I'll share this story step by step so that you understand. Thank you. So when he was in form four, waiting mm-hmm. for his exam. The exam was to be start to be to be done on Monday. Oh, no, it's time three, so, three now. Yeah, they are waiting three. to do their case. Yeah, Sani me ruka ruka history. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you understand, there are so many issues it. there. Yeah, but yeah. let me just get to the where stories yeah, yeah. where the journey started. Kabisa, kabisa. Mm. So when he was waiting for the exam, the the prayer date was on Friday. Then the exam was to be started on Monday. Exactly. So this is what he, what happened. The, mm-hmm. he, he, he just left everyone in class. He went to the fence. He stayed there alone. He died. Then he was so violent. Even Kilamtu Yanel Kwanamu Gopa. He became so violent. He wanted to beat everyone. 
So that is the day of that is the prayer day now. You see? Mm. So that is the day his condition worsened and he was taken. My dad was called upon because he could beat, he could kill anyone. So he was my my father was called, he was taken, he came. Uh the school organized with with Madare Mental Hospital. You know it you know the hospital. No, I have heard of yeah. it. So he was taken there to Madare. Mm-hmm. He was taken to Madare on I think on that Saturday my dad came. He found him in Madare and that is how the journey started. It was so painful. It was very painful. Imagine you are waiting for your brother to start his exam on Monday. Then the the then the, the news that comes to you is that he has been taken to Madare, something you have never, you could not even ex, uh, ex, expect. Something that you could not even expect. So he was taken to Madare. Uh, when others were doing the exam, he was taken to Madare. So after being taken to Madare, he was, he was given those medication. Yeah, and then after like two weeks, he returned back home. And that is, the, the, I remember very well. So he did not do his exam. He never did the exam by that, that time. Mm-hmm. So he was taken back home because he could not stay at town. Could not. By then, my dad was Alkwanesh Mombasa. So he could not be taken there because of his condition. Mm-hmm. He had to be taken back to the mm-hmm. village. Mm-hmm. So that that is me now. I was in. I, I remember very well that time. Okay, so my brother is, was taken back to village because of his condition. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was very hard. It was very hard. It was very hard to live with him because he was very violent. Mm-hmm. He didn't want to see anyone, especially me. You know, by that time, mm-hmm. I, I was at home with my mom alone. I was with my mom. Mm-hmm. The other brother were not there. Santisia was not there. High Santisia, school. Santisia by then was in Form 4. Oh, Form 4. Santisia was in Form 4. Mm-hmm. The other brother was in college. Oh. You see now, so the li- life was very hard living with him. He was so violent. He could do anything. He could even chase us from the home, the house. It was very. He changed everything at home. Mm. Hey, I even it, it was very hard. In fact, it was very hard living with him. Imagine it's your own. Yeah, 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 I yeah. think you understand the but pain. You, you are just understanding because it's your. Yeah, I brother. try. I don't know why I got that grace. Mm. I, I had that grace of living with him, despite that he, he didn't want to see me. Did he ever beat you? Yeah, of course. Huh? Not even once. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of times. A couple of times. By the oh, but you are just understanding. But I could understand him, and I was that young. Imagine I was that young. I was at class. I was. You could class. not fight back. No, I could not. He was my brother. He was big. I was in class. By then, I was in class eight. I remember very well. Oh. By that time, I was in class eight, so I could not fight back. Back my brother, mm. and this. Even I could even look at his condition. He was not the, because I loved him so much. We had a good relationship. You see that? Wow, I yeah. think you can. It was so painful. Imagine someone you have been living with him, with him, since he was a child until that time, and then something just came like that. It was very, it was very. So it hard. was not something that he was born with. It was, it was something, something that was, came out of nowhere. It was just something came out of, from nowhere. Yeah. And we can't, we cannot say it was. He was not using any drug. Yeah. So you are like, well, what can be the cause of this thing? He never used any drug. He was he was a church boy, by the way, because by the all of us, we have been brought up in a religious in, in background. Religious background. Yeah. So he has never taken any kind of drug. And I am sure, because he was my brother, mm-hmm. so I could not believe what I could do, what you I was all seeing. could not believe. All of us, even my dad, everyone could not believe. But I am the only guy in the family who, I was the first one to accept the condition. I was the big, being the last one, being the the young boy in the family. Mm. I could understand this is not normal. Wow. But the others, they were like, ah, pana, we are not jifanyaga. Mm. Atakama ni mgonjwa, anajifanya. But I used to understand him so much sometimes. Oh. So the journey was to the journey was so so tough because I remember there is a time when I was in, when I was waiting for my results KCPE. Uh-huh. I remember very well I got my results in hospital because of him. Uh, what? I re- yeah. You were hospitalized. Yeah. What happened? So it happened. Uh, he just came at night. He said that, that he doesn't want to see anyone at the, uh, in that in that in that house. Everyone to just to go away. Mm-hmm. So it was like he wanted to. Alikwata kudunga madena kiss. It was very serious. Your mom. Yeah. Uh huh. It was very serious. It was very serious. He came with a knife. With a knife, I saw it my own. Where were you? 
Okay, I was sitting with mom mm-hmm. you know, in a mm-hmm. veranda outside. Mm-hmm. So we, we are just was it at night. It was at night around I, I still remember it very well. Mm-hmm. It was around hapo saa moja saa moja 7 7, 7 p.m. Yeah, 7 p.m. So he came home. Mm-hmm. Uh he started saying every, it's kind of ever no one loves him in the family and he don't want to see anyone in this in the in the, in the house. Was he holding a knife then? That, that time he was not holding anything. Uh-huh. But he, he he spoke very hungry and he went. Then after he came back, he came with a knife. What? He came with a knife. Uh-huh. So after coming with a knife, I saw this I saw this very serious. Mhm. Uh-huh. Imagine I was very young by then. Class 8. Yeah, can you imagine I, this is a big guy. This is a big guy who has completed form 4 but yeah. he has not done the exam yeah. so he, he, he came to mom as he wanted to kumdunga na kiso so your mom was just seated or was he uh, ma, ma, my mom after seeing that he, she had to to stand, stand up yeah, yeah for, and try to defend yeah, for, for, for defense uh-huh. so when i saw that hey, i saw this can be very serious uh-huh. you can even kill mom because he said he's not functioning well yeah, yes yeah, i'm yeah. disorder mm-hmm. so i had to go and defend my mom mm-hmm. so in so he, as he was taking the knife i came in i came between and defended my mom i i just beat him on the hand hey. the, just, the, the knife you kiss you can go come by listen you mm-hmm. see so, so after you kiss you me anguka mm-hmm. so, so he kiss you me anguka mm-hmm. when you kiss you me me anguka mama ka akatoka mbio. Uh-huh. Sasa unajua mimi nimemshikilia nimemshika kisu kaanguka lakini hata mambo bado nimeangu. Eh I tried to save mom I saved her. But hata mimi successful. Yeah, sa- she, she was not hurt anyway. Uh-huh. So in that incident mm-hmm. he, unajua kulikuwa malikisu ilianguka but nzuri kulikuwa na kagiza. Mm. Sasa he just he, he, he went ahead akachukua sijui kama unajua kuni firewood. <laughs> he took a firewood. Uh-huh. A very low a big log. Uh-huh. So hey, you know that time when I was down akakuja uh-huh. akanipi akanikelea choki mti hapa mse. Eh hey, nikaanguka siku in your head. Yeah, nikaanguka chini. Mm. Utakaanguka chini unajua nime lose conscious. Na uh-huh. akakimbia akaenda. So he ran away. Yeah, so mom had to come some neighbors they came my aunt. So did you not have like close neighbors? You know when uh, maybe there is a fight okay. or uh, you are in kitu <laughs> <laughs> it is separate separate separate. Yeah, separate. by the way, by the honestly, that is kitu. People yeah. people are sparsely populated, you see? So our neighbor one neighbor we are here another neighbor is far oh. away kidogo. But my aunt came by, I was taken. Mm-hmm. I was taken to hospital. Nikash- and you were hospitalized. Yeah for like two, 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 two days. So oh nikapelekwa hospitali nikashonwa nikashonwa hapa mm. hata kuna hiyo scar hapa nilizomemea nywele ni venye nimemea nywele. So that how, that is how the journey it was uh, living with them there are so many so, so many incidents. Yeah I, uh, okay yeah, we understand yeah. and already now they know uh, he became so yes. violent. Yeah. So Ken. Yeah. Uh, that was back then you are telling us that was when you were in class 8 yeah. but when we look at you now you are a big person yeah. you have done your high school okay. you are now in campus yeah. and uh, obviously even him he has really grew up yeah so did he change or is okay. he still violent uh in fact the behavior went on by but let me tell you with time when mm. i went in high school I had a teacher who, who had done special needs. Mm-hmm. So I went to him, I used to talk to him about counseling, yeah, yeah. counseling st- staff. Mm-hmm. So we used to talk, we used to share, we used to sh- share with me so many stories. Mm-hmm. Even uh, so many pe- so many friends of mine used to share their their stories at, at their home. Mungina nasikia nasema ya I have a brother who does this and this, you know. Oh, so you are encouraging. So I was encouraging now. away. Mm-hmm. So I used to see this is something normal. This is something that happens. So by that time my brother continued I can't, I can't. Were you in a boarding or day school? I used to be in a boarding school. Oh so so you are not meeting you are not meeting by then. But with time mm-hmm. uh, I can aliendelea tu akapewa madawa akaendelea to at least uh, today I can testify that is is not is not that bad because wow. I'm the one who made my parents to accept the condition wow, i'm the so one nice who made them you. to accept and and okay as i was about, i was as i was telling you as i talked with that 
my favorite teacher was who had done special needs. Mm. So he used to encourage me to, to tell me about all those stuff. Yeah. So I used to come and tell my mom, this is not normal. This we should do, this is how we should live with them, you see? Yeah. So through that, he motivated me so much. Mm-hmm. Uh, live, through trying to live with him mm-hmm. in peaceful way, mm-hmm. through understanding him, yeah. he motivated me so much. So, so much. So that that's when, when I was in Fumfu, I decided when, I'm, uh, when I'll be done with this, High school, I'll just go and do special, and do needs. special needs. So today, here yeah, I am. Uh, today, I, 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 I am a special teacher yeah. because of him. Today, I have this platform because of my brother. So b- b- just because of living with him after I went to campus, mm. after I joined campus, I met so many people who, who, are, who, are, live, who, are, who are living with special needs. Mm-hmm. So I could understand. They became, some, they became my friends, you see? So that's that's where the the interest and the passion came from for starting this for starting this platform. Okay, back then you know people could not understand people could not understand this condition. People we like me I own so many people question answers why is my brother like this? I I used to be asked so many questions. I could see so I could see the society judge what you want to judge. They used to yeah, judge they used us. To judge a you lot. see? Mm. I could see that discrimination from my brother. You see that I could feel that pain. I hope you are getting me. Getting it was so you. painful. So the society could not accept this condition. My parents by then they could not accept this condition. But I had to make them understand. Wow. So this is all this is what motivated me mm. to start this platform, Ken254, the journey of special needs. Wow. Yeah. Guys, uh, I know you are you are listening. So if you are watching this video till now, make sure to like the video. And uh, we are so humbled to have you, Ken. Yeah. What a story, what an encouragement. Yeah. What a big thing you did. We had not talked this, uh, this much. Okay. I've, I've heard many things. Like, even me, okay. I, can, uh, I can really make my parents... Yeah to understand yeah. something yeah. like his brother uh, is the child to your mom and your dad yeah. but you as the brother was the one who took the responsibility the brother. to make them the last one of the family yeah. what an encouragement guys so your brother was the main reason why ken started the special uh, the, journey, the journey the journey of special needs, the journey of special needs. yeah well, so ken mm, in the in your youtube channel you have talked to like five four there yeah. four five six uh yeah. different people yeah i would like you to share to us uh, you know uh, some challenges you go through because uh in everything we do we we have uh, the advantages, disadvantages, and yeah. the challenges. Yeah. So I'd like you to share to us, uh, you know, the challenges that you know you get uh, when uh, when doing the videos or while socializing yeah. with the with those people who are abled differently. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Number one, I would start by saying, mm. uh, in this thing, in this journey I'm taking, it's a journey that that needs to have that heart that needs you to have that passion. This is not something you can just wake up and do it. It requires to have a big heart for those people who are able differently. Uh, number one, it, is, it has not been that, it has not been an easy journey. Yeah. In fact, I've done like um, six episodes. Yeah, six episodes. Uh, the first episode I did with someone who was, who, who was born with cerebral palsy, that's a condition that, mm-hmm. that affects the coordination of the of the of the legs everywhere it, it affects everywhere mm-hmm. i also did another another guy who got an accident yes. by the is in fact is the president of mount kenya university what? Really inspire yeah that's what i'm saying no one is limited despite being able different is the president of mount kenya university student council i did that that's another journey mm-hmm. i did another journey of a guy who is working on wheelchair yeah, who's rolling on wheelchair I king see. on wheelchair the, the guy is very strong, he's very passionate, he goes to gym, he yeah. does all kind of exercise. You know that it was kind of motivation to to, to others. Yeah. And again, I had another um, another episode for another guy who has been living in the in, in blindness, in the yeah, blindness yeah, in the society, yeah, yeah. he shared his journey, mm-hmm. he's talented. And again, I did another episode, the other, the other week, I did another episode of a very powerful mother, 
Words cannot even describe her. She's small, the dwarf. I hope you get me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I did an episode of her. By the way, I can even share something on her before I, I talk about the challenges. I did an interview on her. She she, she was so she was sexually assaulted because of this because of her because she was assaulted by her husband sexually assaulted because she was disabled. So the husband could take advantage of her. So she's spoken up. She shared her journey. She cried so much. So after the after this, I can even testify after doing uh, after doing interview, she was spotted by Deputy President Ruta during a campaign. Ah, uh, she was spotted at Makongeni. Uh -huh. She was given 50k to start a business. Is that an achievement? Is that not an achievement? Yeah, it's an achievement, and and God did it again. Wow. Then the other yesterday two days ago, I did another episode of yeah. another guy, very powerful, mm. who is living with blindness. Mm -hmm visual impaired that is mm -hmm. and he, yeah, he got a talent again yeah. so the journey has not been that easy mm -hmm. uh, uh, nimepata challenge mingi yeah. you know like number one number one challenge to speak with those people for for one to share a story with you <laughs> it requires god's grace it is not something so easy <laughs> someone just comes to you you know some people will not understand you yeah. they'll be like we are using us so that you you, you be famous you be famous yeah, you see yeah. it was not something that easy but it has not been an easy journey. Uh, there are so many challenges. But since you have passion and you know what you are doing, you cannot give up. You see? I get it. Since you know what you are doing and you, you know where you want to reach, mm. that will always keep you going in the journey. Exactly. You see? So I remember it was, very, it was, it was not that easy. Mm. I did my first episode, but you guys really supported me. You guys really motivated me. Yeah. So the problem was that, I, uh, you know, doing those people sharing their journey mm. without through this rappella, it is very difficult. Mm. So most of the my, most of my episode there, you are seeing them. I used to do them twice because I, I don't have those rappels. Rap, rappels, sorry. I call yeah. ra, rappels. rappels. I don't have the rappels, so it was or very. You can just say mic. Those mics, it's yeah. very hard. Mm. So it was very hard. So uh, the communication. The communication. You know, some of them I want to use a tiko juice. Yeah, 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 they can't yeah, be yeah. that loud, you see. Mm. So it was very hard. I could I remember there is an episode I did it like thrice for it to be successful. One in Pala YouTube. So I will nearly my little attack will give up like any hey what I want to what I want to where I want to reach. Where I want those people to reach, you see? I want to be to be their voice, you see. I want to be their voice. So it has not been an easy journey. Even deciding, looking looking for a background. Some of the episodes I used to do them at Mount Kenya University. The, 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 the history is very hey, full of disturbance. Yeah, yeah. Distractions. It's all those are makelele noise. Nini. Mm. It was very hard for me. Ah, yeah. There are so many, so many challenges. You know, sometimes you can go to someone who do him an interview. After doing the interview, the person opens up, he has so many problems, eh? he has some issues, some, he doesn't have school fees. And so you are wondering how So I'm like, how, how will I help this guy now? You know, after, they, after those people, they see you, they, they assume this guy is successful. So they are, they, uh, they are saying, because he's doing me an interview, yeah. definitely he will help Yeah, they me. expect something small to give them, you see? Yeah, yeah. So it's, 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 it's kind of... Okay. It's Maybe a challenge. It's are. a big challenge. So the journey has not been that easy, but we are going. Amen. We, we are going far. That's what oh. I believe. Wow. So Ken. Yeah. So Ken. Okay. You know when you are doing this, uh, you are doing a good job. Yeah. First of all, let me congratulate you because you are so doing much. a good Thank job, you so and uh, you will go far. So Ken, what your, what are your aims? You know when you are doing uh, this kind of content when yeah. you are communicating and interacting with these guys yeah. like as for me if uh, you will allow me to share this to you okay. like me as a young blood Kamodo, yeah. I want to be that one of the best kings in gospel music okay you know in the current industry in music yeah. people are singing they get rich they get the name they yeah. go to secular True. But as for me, I'm gospel diehard mm. because you cannot sing enough to what God has done to you. Yeah. You got a lot to tell the to tell God. So as for me, I wanna be that king of gospel music in Kenya and also abroad. So you, when you are doing this content, yeah. what's your mean? What's your aim? 
Number one aim. Mm-hmm. Uh, I want to I want to show the society that we can help those people living, who those people are able differently, mm-hmm. to turn that disability to ability. Amen. You see, we want to we want to stand with them. Mm-hmm. You know, there are so many children at, at the village. Those who have not they have not been taken to school because they are they are able differently mm-hmm. because the the parents of the society has not understand this that thing. Mm-hmm. We we want to take them to school. We want to empower them. We want to empower those parents who are raising those kids with special needs. They stop hiding them. You know, they're hiding them. They hide, some of the community, they have not even understood that this thing. They see like having a kid with special needs is like a curse. No. It's like a curse. Some of them, they end up breaking up. They end, they end up breaking up their, 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 their marriage because they got a kid with special needs. So we want to motivate them. We want to, to create awareness. We want to motivate the, the, the society. We, we, we want to give hope to them, you see? So that the people can understand that everyone, those, those, those people living with, those people who are living with special need, all those kids, mm. they, are, they are a gift from God, you see? Yeah. And again, as, as you all know, as you, as you all know about this platform, this is my platform, it is the journey of special needs. As, as, the, as for special needs, special needs is anyone who requires who require uh, an extra attention. We want to, to reach those children mm-hmm. who need extra attention, those orphans, those children in the, in the streets, mm-hmm. those people who need help, we want to help them. Yeah. Uh, we want in future to have like an orphanage wow. where we can support them. We want to have like children's home, you see? Wow. So it's awesome. a big, it's, it's, I have a big dream on this. Yeah. I want to reach even that person at the village who doesn't have a wheelchair. You know, like now, mm. he cannot perform anything. Yeah. So we want to reach him. We want to kufikadi mashinani. Mm-hmm. We help those people. Wow. And I know with God time, so that is my, my mission mm. to have a, a, a orphanage, wow. to have a, a, even to have a, a special institution for those kids, oh, wow. so that we can provide we can provide all the equip, equipment they require, mm. so that they can they can they can they can they can live their life yeah. they can they can live an independent life like us they we do you see exactly yeah that's why that's what I, I want to. Add. To, to achieve wow yeah me all all i just tell you is all the best yeah. may god uh, bless you so much thank you may amen. god be with you in this journey amen it's you are now starting yeah. you are an upcoming and uh, because it's something you love and it's something uh, you have passion okay and it's something that is from your background okay. may god see you through mm. may god uh be there for you and because you require a lot of resources in yeah. what you are doing True. may god uh, bless you the resources yeah. may god bless you with sponsors because yeah. uh by helping you know uh, the main challenge uh, in this content you are doing and yeah. I, I don't want to call it content but this something that you are doing yeah. um it requires a lot of money, yeah. requires a lot of capital. True. So, and uh, even this big orphanage or even that small orphanage you are seeing there, yeah. they have sponsors yeah. who buy those uh, children, uh, you know, food. Yeah. They offer education. True. So, even as for you, as you're starting your journey, yeah. may God give you sponsors. Yeah. And you are, you are out there and uh, you'd love, you know, uh, when you go to his YouTube channel at Ken254 TV, mm. if you want to reach to any of any person that God will touch you, yeah. and maybe when you want to help that person, yeah. please reach Ken. He'll give us his uh, social media handles okay. because uh, it's good to help one another. Yeah. That's a kid, that's a person, that's yeah. a mother, that's a father just like you, yeah. and uh, they are able differently. Okay. So, Ken, as we wind up, I would like you to give us your social media handles so that uh, they can subscribe to your YouTube channel 
they can follow you in all your platforms. Thank you once again for this opportunity. And as, as I give out my social media handle, mm -hmm. I, but then I have another project, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, soon I'll be having a project and it is through the, anyone who will support the project. Mm -hmm. We want to be visiting, we want to, to start visiting the streets. Mm -hmm. those, those people who are able differently when you are on Baomba Omba Oko. Yeah. We want, this Christmas, this December, mm -hmm. I want to start that project. We, 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 we be visiting them. We just buy them at Akama Nihunga, mm -hmm. something to hit you see and again on the same I, I also have the same same project I'll buy I will be visiting the the orphanage the special institutions wow. and God will bless will bless us on that yeah that's good so if you are watching me you want to work with me in this journey yeah. let me just give out my social media handles handles yeah. uh to figure pale YouTube number one YouTube I have a YouTube platform that is Ken 254 TV. Ken 254 TV. Yeah. The journey of special needs. Yeah. Now, so many episodes. Mm -hmm. That is my social media handle. Very active. You can even get me Facebook. Facebook, mm -hmm. it is Blessed Ken. TikTok Bado. Mm -hmm. active. Uko. Instagram Bado. But the only platform you can get me is YouTube, not Facebook. 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 Mm -hmm. And also, I can even share my number. That's very good. To any supporter, to anyone who wants to work with me, mm -hmm. as we touch those lies, yeah. as we give those lies hope, yeah. you can reach me through this number. My number is 7 Five five. I repeat again. Mm -hmm. My number zero seven sixty nine forty seven thirty seven fifty five. You can reach. You can reach me. We can talk. You can even if you have an uh, you have an idea. You can even share with me. I'll appreciate so much and God bless you so much. So I'll pin his number in the comment section. Make sure you reach him. I will also pin uh, his link to his YouTube channel. So let's show love to this upcoming Kitui man. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you. Yeah. Uh, you know, he's a Kitui man, but uh, when, where is he born now? Me ni mezali wa Mombasa. Kwa ni uja, mi ni mezali wa Mombasa lakini. Kitui, kitui ni mekaka. Kitui Mombasa wapi? Ni mezali wa Mombasa. Ni mezali wa Mombasa. Mtuapa. Ni mezali wa pale mtuapa. Eh. Ni mezali wa Mombasa. For real? Ni mezali wa mtuapa ni mezali wa Mombasa. I swear ni me, ni me guess. Uko wajua. Uko meambua na santi. For real? Ajai ni ambia. Sure. For real. For real. So what a primary ni mesomia. Ni me guess. Ali. For real. Yeah. Well, I'm a good guess. Oh, yeah. Mtuapa. Yeah, mtuapa. Ni mesomia majengo akademi kwa hapo. Uh -huh. So when did you go to Kitui? Uh, kitui unajua huko ni nyumbani huko eh, ndo nyumbani hata mkae town hata mkae wapi mm. lazima ufike nyumbani lazima ufike kwa mama yeah, yeah, lazima tufike huko so ulienda kitu ili ni juu kizaliwa Mombasa ah uh, sasa that that's another story of another day <laughs> <laughs> so guys uh, make sure you tune in uh, for the next video definitely hatapotea sana yeah. obviously we will do another video thank you so much for being with us uh, we appreciate make sure you like the video make sure you subscribe Again, thank you so much for 17k subscribers. Wow. Let's hit 20k subscribers before you know before uh, before New Year. At least let us be at 20k subscribers. Sure. God bless you so much. Mm -hmm. We love you so much. Don't forget to subscribe uh -huh. my channel, Ken254 TV. Thank you so much, Young Blood, for giving yeah. this opportunity. Let me let me give out my vote of thanks. Thank yeah. you so much for giving me this opportunity. Yeah. I'm very humble. May the Lord bless you. Amen. May all your dreams be achieved. Amen. 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 Na 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 pokea yote kitu iman. <laughs> <laughs>